folks, my first guest has done everything from playing an escort in American Gigolo to saving one in Pretty Woman. Please welcome Richard Gere. <laughs> So nice. They are lovely people. We told people that Richard Gere was going to be here tonight, and they said, "Can we come?" And we said, "Sure." No, but I saw. I was watching the whole thing when he came out before, yep. and they ran around, and they got crazy, and yeah. everyone was happy. Look at yeah. this. It's so nice. They're, they're, they're still happy. Yeah. They're happy to they see Richard Gere. They got about another Gere. 45 minutes of happiness. Maybe <laughs> so. Maybe so. Well, thanks for coming on. I know you don't Thank do you. this that often. No, You're this not is a the first time I've ever done it. Actually, this is the first one. Really? I'll no. make it quick and painless. No. Well, you don't do it a lot, right? I don't do it a lot, no. No. Well, uh, matter of fact, one of the first times I met you, I wanted you. I saw you do the hoax. You were great in the movie The Hoax. And we were out in New Jersey. Yeah. And and I and I, I ran into you and I was you gushing didn't... at you about how no. a great show was. I did. No, oh, oh no, great. I'm talking about a different one. Yeah. 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 When we were. Yeah, you're in the city. Yeah, well, in I was the city. I saw the you time do the hoax we in... uh, with Marsha Gay Harden. Yes. And and I came and I gushed at you, and you're like, actually, I don't want. I don't want to do your show. I don't want to do the show. No. <laughs> I still don't want to do the show. I don't know right. why I'm here. But that happened to be a very good movie. That was an extremely good movie. We were extremely good actor. Thank you know, you. Um, uh, but you, you've got a long history uh, that some people maybe don't know about because you were in the London cast of Greece, Danny Zuko. <laughs> which I bet a lot of these people don't know. I know I'm going to get hurt here. No, 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 no. Is this going to be painful Lock for me? Lock the doors. Lock the doors. Because we have acquired a clip. Wait a minute, wait a minute. To prove it, no, to prove this it. Was, this was 45-ish years ago. Yes? Yeah. Yes? And I'm scared to see what this is. You're gonna love it. Jim? Some loving happened from last. Some loving happened so fast. I met a girl crazy for me. Met a boy cute as can be. Summer days, drifting away to the summer nights. This, this was actually for Lincoln's second inaugural. This was for, <laughs> That was Lincoln's second inaugural This right was there? for the second inaugural. Now, were there other Americans in the show? No, or just... I was the only one, and I had been doing it in... Uh, why are you taking me back this far? <laughs> I was the... I was doing... It was one of the first things I did in New York. And uh, uh, I started out as, a, as an understudy. And I was covering five guys. Mm -hmm. And you know, every night, one of the guys didn't show up. or There was a problem or something. And I was doing all the parts. And then when it the, uh, came time to do it in London, they asked if I would come and, and lead and, uh, and play Danny. And uh, I was the only one there. It was the first time I'd been out of the country. It was a big uh, deal. What was, was London like for you? How, how old are you at that point? 22. 22. This 22 year old guy 22. in London. You got a job. What, what, what were you doing with your time? I, um. <laughs> I'm thinking, what can I actually tell here? The 22 year old guy. Yeah. You know what I do remember, though? We were doing um, previews in, in Chichester uh, before we, we came to the West End. Yes. And uh, it, it was the, the first time I had any money, frankly. It was, it, it, I had some per diem money. And the Triumph Motorcycle Factory is in Chichester. And I went in with my per diem money, I put it down, and I drove out with a Triumph 650. Yeah! yeah. That's right there. Right there! What did you have? What did you have? Triumph, people. Triumph. That leather jacket, it must have been a hot look there, tootling around London. And yeah, no, I used to go. Do you still have a, that bike? 
No, 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 I totaled the bike, totaled the bike. Totaled the bike? Are you okay? On the West Side Highway. And, um, you know, where the, um, the, the, it just, I don't know, it's, it was all stone then. It was the West Side Highway? It was cobblestone. It was all cobblestone and slate, and, and, and uh, there was no working lights at that point in nothing. New York history. This was before electricity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, now it was raining and I slipped. I mean, you're a bike guy, right? Yeah. You're a bike guy. <laughs> yes. They do a well, little drinking a here. Also. Ask me if I'm a bike guy. I'm right here. I'm a bike I'm a, guy. I'm I can you're ride not a bike. a bike guy. That's a bike guy. Come on. I had a mini bike when I was a child. I had a 1.5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton lawnmower engine mini bike as a child. I had I that, used that, to well, no, I, I was had that evil, same evil. engine and I had a go kart with the same engine. The in Briggs it. and Stratton lawnmower yes. engine. Fantastic. You could burn your you burned your leg on it all the time on the manifold. Yes. He's a, I'm not a biker. <laughs> You, what listen. was your bike? What bike did you have? Yamaha 250. That's not a bike. A Yamaha 250? That's not a bike. It's a bike. I, I, I'm very happy for you, sir. <laughs> Don't insult my audience. They were so happy moments ago. You came out here. And I apologize. Said how happy I apologize. They were. I want everyone to feel good. I don't know why you don't do this more often. Because <laughs> I don't get paid enough, that's why. No. I'll sweeten the pot on the back end. I'll, get, I'll give you a little taste in the distribution. Well, there's something of a Richard Gere renaissance going on right now because you've got two movies uh, getting a lot of critical acclaim right now. There's uh, Norman yeah. and uh, the movie The Dinner, which is actually at the Montclair Film Festival this weekend. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's oh, right. Yeah, exactly. Are you out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go see it. I'm going to go see it's it. It's coming out this week. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, you play the father of um, uh, a teenage son, and uh, Steve Coogan, I think, is yeah. you play your brother? Plays my brother. Brother in this. And uh, you have two teenage sons, and I, I want to set up this clip here. Uh, what can you tell us, or how much do you need, can you give away here? Well, this is, it's called The Dinner, and it, it, the, the central thing of, of the movie is, is these two couples are meeting to have a dinner, and we don't really know why. Mm -hmm. And there are kind of red herrings are put out about why we're having this dinner. But in fact, uh, our teenage sons have done something horrific, and we're going to have to talk about it. And, and so I have kind of, I'm, I'm a congressman, and I have decided that we need to talk about this tonight. So this is the beginning of it. Jim? Brother? I'm worried about you there. Standing, you were going to make it across the room. Uh, I got my posse here with me. <laughs> Highly trained bodyguards. <laughs> Stop smiling now, Stan. It's just us. Get a rest, will you? This is long overdue. What were you talking about? We were just, uh, we're, we're just uh, enjoying one of those awkward pauses, as they say. Not talking about anything. Not talking about anything. Well, okay. we're going to talk tonight. Now, I don't, want, I don't want anyone to think this is all sitting at a dinner table. Okay, it's not because, all sitting at a dinner table? Uh, there's flashbacks. There's all kinds of things going on. But, but it kind of follows a meal, a sitting down. The, the, the hors d'oeuvres come, the appetizers come, the different courses come, and within that there's an emotional movement of, of uh, the narrative. Will I be hungry by the time the you movie is over? You will be extremely hungry. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Thanks for doing the show. Appreciate it. Nice to see you again. Norman is out in theaters, and the dinner opens today. <laughs>